another um, worship one. I know I just uh, today was an interesting day where uh, I don't know I'm deciding what how close and personal I want to tell everybody things but part of me wants to be like very open about this so um, let me breathe okay so the whole thing of this was that my mom uh, when I started this my mom had an illness for 14 years um, it was called PSB or primary billary primary, hang on, P-S, 
sclerosing chondylitis. It had to do with her bile duct. And it like just wreaked havoc on her digestive system and it ended up in liver failure. And so uh, my mom passed the day after Thanksgiving last year. And uh, so this is like the first year without her. And uh, okay, don't need to start this night out, but uh, just kind of like one of those nights where like, you know when you need support, you wanna tell everybody and just kind of like, because I feel like the more people that are praying for you, the better things go, but whoo, okay. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm like so emotional, but I'm like, okay. I'm trying to like be open and, but at the same time, it's like, ooh, never really done this. Um, great. I'm trying. <sighs> okay, so I had uh, my mammogram done this year on Monday. Uh, they called me back, wanted me to come in on Tuesday. And so I went in uh, today and I have to go in for a biopsy now. And so um, they said more than likely, it probably is something serious because it just, it looks like it, but they have to confirm it. So, um, so for two weeks, I have to wait two weeks <laughs> to go in. And um, so like for the next two weeks, I'm just gonna be like, probably gonna be biting people's heads off. <laughs> so just prayers for my patience and the strength and for um, just the, the peace that I, I'm gonna need like the next couple weeks to kind of stay calm and have faith. Because honestly, like my husband's like, how are you doing? I'm like, you know, I have a lot of faith and I, I just know that God's going to carry us through this, and he's going to carry me through it, and so it's in his hands, and he's got us, so I don't, we don't need to worry, and we don't need to fear, because I know he has us, and so um, that's where I am today. My head's just a mess now after this afternoon, so. But it can still be okay, even the worst case scenario. Right, and that's what I think, and so I'm like, <laughs> so I mean, it's just that the waiting and not knowing. I think that's the worst part. And that's how it was with my mom too, the waiting and not knowing. Cause once we knew, you either knew what to do and you go and you do everything and then that's it. Or you know that, okay, you can breathe for a while. You don't have to worry about anything until your next checkup and then you can go through the whole process mm -hmm. again. But, um, so it's like, okay. But, so I'm singing, um, this is fierce, um, from Jesus culture and just my call out for love. <laughs> so. You chase me down, you 
seek me out How could I be lost when you have called me found You chase me down You seek me out How could I be lost when you have called me found Like a tidal wave Rushing over me Rushing in and keep me second of all for sharing something that I know is very personal and also I know could be can be very scary but <clears throat> please know that Gene you know, and I and everybody else here we are all behind you we're all pushing for you and we're going to be right there to fight it with you so you're not alone thank you okay all right Having said that, I think we're ready to bring up our next act. Uh, this gentleman is, was here before.